Good morning, YouTube. Hope everything's off to a fine start at your house this morning. Me? No, things couldn't be better. I'm going down here to work on a log splitter today. And this is actually going to be the last, the last. This is actually going to be the last appointment that I make as a full-time business. I will continue to put videos up from time to time. Hopefully I can put you up one a week, two a week. But this business just ain't as lucrative as what you think. Uh, the last five months has been a struggle. A, a, a huge struggle. Uh, the last year it's, it's just been it's, it's too much. Uh, it's too much worry uh, about where you're going to get your next uh, where you're going to pay your next electric bill where you're going to pay your next phone bill. Uh, I need a full time job. This ain't working for me anymore. It did it first. It did it first. And also, I had a wife that could help me pay uh, the bills if I was a little short, uh, which didn't happen whenever I was rolling. Uh, you got to advertise. If you can't afford to advertise, can't, and you don't go up. On, I never went up on my prices on my fuel and stuff like that. And uh, uh, it's not bad business management, but the advertisement got to where it's out of hand. Uh, Facebook, I wasn't getting the response back from Facebook like I should be in. Um, YouTube didn't work out for me. Uh, you can advertise it on YouTube. That didn't work out right. The only thing that worked out really good was well, advertise on the radio. And uh, radio airtime is expensive. It is expensive. Uh, it paid for itself in this song. But whenever you're coming off of a of a of a spell during the winter time there's i mean hunting season in winter time is the worst because nobody wants to have their four wheelers and side by sides worked on during hunting season and nobody is having is mowing their yard during the hunting season and during uh, uh, winter time um there was a drought last year uh what else can i say uh In order to pay my bills and to live like I want to live, I got to take a uh, take on a real job. Uh, that's just it in a nutshell. Uh, the units that I built to sell, they haven't sold. Nobody's got any money. Nobody's got any money. This economy sucks. Joe Biden sucks. I'll say it. What's the YouTube going to do? Keep me from putting any videos up? They keep me from keep them from being seen already. They don't push my videos. So I don't have the subscribers. I'm not like these YouTubers that that get uh, <laughs> 25,000 subscribers and watching morons. Every one of them watch their videos, you know? I mean, it's like, my videos are for the do-it-yourselfers. Uh, nobody's interested in what I'm doing uh, yesterday and today and next week, and what time I take a shit, what time I uh, wipe my ass. You know, it's just, nobody's interested in that. So, guys, I appreciate you subscribers that do, that do watch me uh, on a regular basis and do support me. But, you know, uh, you gotta have a thousand subscribers before you make a penny off of YouTube. And uh, face it, the last three years me putting up videos, uh, all I've done is show people uh, how to uh, fix their own stuff 
where uh, they don't have to call me. It's a fact. I'm probably gonna make a few more videos, and I've got videos already on the <coughs> on the loop to be uploaded, and I've got videos in my uh, in my cache that that are go are gonna be uploaded in the near future. So those will be coming out, but. Uh, me putting up videos every day or two or three times a week, that might be over with. Uh, it depends. I'm still going to take you in work. I'm going to have to because, uh, well, probably I'm fixing to take out a lien on my house. And, and if I take out a lien on my house, uh, I'm going to have uh, more notes to pay, <laughs> more bills to pay. But uh, I'm not going to take out a lien on my house unless uh, I just absolutely have to. But I have to get a job, and I have to get one next week. You ever been faced with that kind of financial difficulties? Yeah. My phone's been shut off. My Wi Fi at the house has been shut off. Uh, my electricity's been shut off. My food in my freezer. Luckily, luckily, I have a generator. And I have gas for my generator. So I run my gener generator for two hours this morning. My food had not fallen out in my freezer. My food, my freezer falls out. I am in trouble. I am. I'm in bad trouble. Uh, So that's the point that I've got to. Uh, working for yourself is not paying out for me. Uh, but I'm going to work, and I'm actually, I, I'm hoping that I, I'm going to take this job, and it's going to be the first job I've had probably in, well, since I was 21 years old, that I wasn't worried about something when I come home from work. Hopefully it's going to be a non-stress-related job, and it'll be a job I can, I can do without it. Uh, tearing up my body any more than what it already has. Bust of buzzers down there on the deer. Another bunch of buzzers on another deer. Wow, deer everywhere down here got run over. The lake is rough. The wind is blowing out of the north. Luckily, it didn't get hot last night. Yeah, it gets hot this time of year in Texas. Yeah, it sure does. But uh, it didn't get hot last night. I slept pretty good. Except for the troubles that I had falling asleep, because thinking about my troubles. It's worrisome. So I'm gonna tell you right now, if you're thinking about going in business for yourself as a mobile mechanic, man, uh, I hate to tell you you're a fool, but uh, you better keep your job. Better keep your job. Oh, right, that's not the one I need to turn on this next one. Okay. Yeah keep your job. Do it part-time. Until you get your customer base built up. And a lot of times, I mean, like, in, in, I fix stuff. To, I fix stuff. I don't fix stuff to, to uh, come back on. And, you know, my customers are not everyday customers. You know, it's not like I go back to their house and back and forth and stuff. Yeah, they'll call me whenever their stuff breaks down, but their stuff don't break down because I fix it. And whenever I fix it, I maintain it. And uh, it's good to go. I don't fix it to where uh, they got to come back, get me to fix it again and again and again. I ain't parking up in that mess. You guys, I'm on. This carburetor on this log splitter fix. Get me a little piping out of this. Don't flash my lights turn back on. Let's see if I can get in this It's going to be a sub six inch.
This is a Cornwell E5. It takes it loose. 